Yeah, I got it done. All right, honey, so what's up? I was able to get around the subpoena, but it wasn't easy, Darian. I know it wasn't easy. Is it done? <sighs> it's done, okay? And Darian, if you want to keep your little basketball scholarship, I suggest you stay out of trouble. So it's a good idea for you going this trip? I mean, yeah. What harm would it do? I mean, I'm just ready to get out of this place. It's just too much going on. I'm worried about you. Just, just, just be safe, all right? Thanks for being concerned. Got gotcha. you. All right. All right. This trip is going to be so much fun. Yeah, I've been kind of waiting for this. Hey, where's Travis? He's drunk. What do you mean? Mm. He's in the trunk. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's just go get him. I don't know. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Are we there yet? Soon, hopefully. What are you doing? What? I thought we asked her if she knows where we're going. Are you freaking kidding me? She's walking a fake fucking dog. Let's just keep going. Who knows? She probably knows where it is since she is from around here. Look at her. Miss? Excuse me. Miss? Excuse me. Hey, lady. God damn it. Shit. Miss? Get on my motherfucking nerves, this bullshit. Hey, lady. Excuse me. Me and my buddies, we're going to a cabin. Do you know where that could be? Somewhere near Alpine Lake? She's fucking crazy. Oh, Hey, is there something wrong with you? Do you know the directions? No, I don't know the fuck. Okay, dude, just go. Thank you.
Now see that shit, Brad? That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's what's wrong with this place. Fucking youngins coming up here with their goddamn electric cars and their bubblegum flavored cigarettes and their fucking mocha frappuccinos. What the hell is this world coming to? <coughs> the fuck you put in here, Brad? Is this lighter fluid? Jesus, you're gonna set the whole forest on fire. Well, here it is. What? Our guest house is bigger than this dump. Oh my God. Raise your hand if you don't give a shit about Travis's guest house. Not by unanimous decision, Your Honor. <laughs> That's because we had good times in that guest house. <laughs> <laughs> sure did. Some real good times. I think it's nice. You mean nicer than that one room flat that we picked you up at? That place isn't hard to top. Travis, keep running your mouth, and your first case is going to be as a victim and not a lawyer. Hey, man, what's up with you all of a sudden? What do you mean? I don't know. Ever since you've gotten back from college, you're just uh, different. Well, Harvard bound makes a man a lot more confident. Babe, I like when you're confident. Mm, thanks, babe. You're just remember why we're here, okay? We're here for Monica. You said you guys weren't a thing anymore. We aren't. This place is a dump. Hey guys, there's a hot tub. What? I know where I'm staying. Yeah, me too. Travis. You know, your dumb ass could be helping me over here. What the hell are you doing anyway with your hand out? You jerking off an invisible Sasquatch? Get the hell down here and help me, you lazy son of a bitch. charge of this. I would have found a much better cabin. Beds that don't squeak. Do you want to hear what real squeaking sounds like? Oddly, I do. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to wait till tonight to find out. This weekend was to release tension, not create more of it. Mm. So, uh, anyone up for a drink? Oh, me. How many bottles have you broken in your illustrious career? <laughs> well, 
enough to do this. <laughs> nice. Show off. Thanks. Well, hello there, pretty lady. I haven't seen you here before. Hi. So what can I get you? Let me get a Jack and Coke. Matter of fact, make that a virgin. <laughs> Ballsy. You heard that, cat? She likes a drink just like you. Virgin. Let's get this party started. We came here to party our asses off and release some of the pressures of school. <laughs> pressure? What do you know about pressure? Your dad owns like one of the largest law firms in LA. <laughs> You're set for life, dickhead. Best chicks in the world are from LA. Jimmy, duh, really? Come on, don't be a douche like Travis. I mean, I know you both you think with your smaller head, but I mean, come on. Not me. I also think with my wallet, my money, and making more money. Which is why I'm only taking on rich clients once I pass the bar. What? Rich clients? Everybody deserves a good attorney. You must really only be worried about your wallets. Look who's talking, Miss Law School and no pre-med. Money talks, bullshit walks, honey. Don't tell him, babe. You can't find no Bentley and go on shopping sprees in Paris representing poor-ass people. Is that why you went in law school? For the money? Hell yeah. yeah. I'm real. I'll be right back. Hey, Dad, what's up? Oh, hey, Dad, what's up? Oh, you ran out of toilet paper? Oh, that's all right. I'll still kiss your ass anyway. Oh, you using $100 bills? Think you could wire them to me afterwards? <laughs> awesome. What's that? Hmm. Let's see. What's he doing? These are disappearing until Sunday night. Okay. Isn't there supposed to be a caretaker around here? Mm, yeah, I think I saw him chopping firewood earlier. Who gives a shit about him? We don't need him. Come on, let's get this party started. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> I love it. I got 500 on cat. I'm sorry, babe, but look at her. She's got more muscles than I do. You know what, Travis? Maybe I should practice my skills on your face. 
would be such a quick fight. I don't fight chicks. I only screw them. Well, that's a good thing, because she would kick your ass. Yeah. You know what? He's got a point. <laughs> Two hits. Me hitting Travis's face, and Travis hitting the floor. <laughs> Y'all didn't know Cat is part dude? Which bathroom do you use? Wait, Travis. Shut up. Mm, you're one tough bitch. I mean, do you feel anything towards women? Like, I don't know, respect? No, nope, not at all. Ew, you're really a fucking pig. <laughs> <laughs> you should say, a really rich freaking pig. It's not funny, Travis. Girl, please. How about you just sit there and look pretty and don't say nothing? Travis! Oh my god, you really are a disgusting rich little pig. And if you say anything like that to her again, I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm going out for a smoke. Amanda, come on. Don't demean yourself. You gotta stick up for yourself. I mean, you could do a lot better than Travis. These chicks are a trip. I like them. They seem pretty cool. Well, you are blonde. Travis, why do you always treat me like this? I've done nothing wrong to you. You're a good screw, babe. Plenty of trim would love for me to show them some attention. Count yourself lucky that I even talked to you. Let alone showcase you around as my girl. Cool. Dude, that was cold. The hell with her. She knows her place. So, um, you're working your way through school, right? Well, yeah. I've been working since I was a freshman. Me and my mom. <laughs> my dad passed away when I was four. So it's just been me and her ever since. She sounds like a great woman. Well, she was. She was my best friend. She died last year. Well, I'm sure she's looking down on you and is extremely proud. I mean, <clears throat> pre-law, now medical school, all on your own. That's incredible. Yeah. But what's incredible, you are incredible. <laughs> Dropping out of school, running your dad's garage, that's ultimate boss shit right there. <laughs> I mean, I like kicking ass. <laughs> when I'm in the ring, I kind of tune out the world. Whether it's five minutes or 10 minutes, that's where I'm just focused on nothing else but me and task at hand and just Giving the best damn fight that I can. Yeah, well, you sure didn't impress me. Girl, please. You impress me. I don't know how you do it. All this training and weightlifting for what? To get a black eye in like four minutes in the ring? Like I said, I like kicking ass, but you know what? You lost your dad when you were four. And you worked two jobs to help your mom make ends meet. And now, med school? I mean, strength isn't a muscle thing. You're a tough girl, too. I really don't think so. But thanks for saying that anyway. Well, I'm going to go make myself a kale shake. Do you want one? Hell no. That sounds disgusting. <coughs> That's like ultimate badass them right there. Kale shake? What is your stomach made of titanium? <laughs> badass them, huh? <laughs> I like it. It's actually pretty good and obviously it's really good for you. You should try it. It's a lot better than it sounds, believe me. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you think there's any bears and shit out there? Probably all types of bears and mountain lions out there. Mm. You think the girls know about it? For what? 
I'm sure Kat could kick some bare ass with her MMA ass. True. How in the hell do you put up with Travis? Yeah, he's such a douche. He's really not that bad. It's just more of a show than anything, you know what I mean? Yeah, but Amanda, wouldn't that be more of a reason to leave his ass alone? Yeah. I mean, he has no respect for women whatsoever. You guys, he is not that bad. What? Cutting off chickens heads and shit. That's it. We're out of here. Yes. Yes. Looks like some crazy voodoo shit, you guys. Okay, I think it's time to go. Yeah. Yeah. are like killing me right now. This is perfect. This is exactly what I needed. We only were walking. What the fuck? What was that? Do you guys see that? No, I don't think you're tripping. No, I'm not. No, no I'm not something. tripping. There was something there or someone there. Well, there's nothing there okay, right well, now. I'm going to so sit right here. Whatever. OK. That's a lot of cool. freaky shit that we've been seeing, especially that lady in the woods. What's up with that? Yeah, that was some creepy shit. Creepy? No, more like psychotic. OK, I'm trying to relax here. And yeah, now I only can think about her and whatever I just saw. Never even seen anything like that in my life. Ever. Yeah, it looked like some kind of African ritual or something. You guys are overreacting. I think that crazy ass lady can keep her crazy ass in the woods. What the hell's going on here? Hey, what do you say we order a pizza? Mm, sounds 
sounds good to me, but uh, someone took my phone, remember? Wait, 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 wait. Can we get meat lovers? Sure. Um, I'm going to go ask Monica. Do you know where she is? In her bedroom. Now's your chance, Romeo. It's really not what you think. Oh, so you wouldn't mind if I... <laughs> That's what I thought. I wanted to see if you'd like some pizza. Sounds good to me, I guess. Cool. Anything else? No. About damn time. 25, 24. You take credit cards? Sure. Your kids up here alone? No. God is with us. God is everywhere. Yeah. I'll be right back. You better not be charging shit with my card or copying my info. I'm not tipping him. Hey man, this car didn't work. That's impossible. Try it again. I ran it two times. What and it... Jimmy, do you have any cash on you? Probably just my dad being an ass. Don't worry. My treat, Mr. Big Shot. Hey, you kids be safe up here. People been known to go missing around these parts of Alpine Lake. What the fuck? What do you see? I just saw a guy standing right there staring at the house. It's like he was watching us or something. This is crazy. He's completely gone. Fuck it. Let's get it. Jesus! Well, you're close. If I could just master that whole water into wine thing. What the hell are you doing out here? And why the hell are you spying on us, old man? Sorry to frighten you, pretty little ladies. My name is Walter. I'm the groundskeeper of this property y'all been staying at. We didn't call you. So why are you hanging around our place? Because he's a creep, that's why. Your place. This here is my place. 
What the hell are you talking about? I'm the groundskeeper. Y'all are college students, right? You don't strike me as particularly bright. We don't need your assistance this weekend, old man. Well, then you all just have yourselves a fine weekend. Let's get out of here. Hey, you stay away from the cabin this weekend, or else. What happened? The damn caretaker. What, the caretaker seriously has nothing better to do than try to scare us? What was he doing standing out there looking out through the window? He's an idiot, that's why. I'm a little retarded. It just doesn't make any sense, you guys. Why would he be trying to scare us? Maybe we should just leave. Bullshit. We're not going nowhere. That old fart can kiss my ass. We're gonna party all weekend. Right? You know what? For once, he's actually got a point. I mean, come on, Monica. We can't just leave because that old dude out there is a little off his rockers. The dude is way off his rockers. We don't have anything to worry about. Besides, I told him if he comes back around here again, I'll kick his ass. <laughs> now, can we eat? Don't do like this. I'll be fine. Come on. No! No! Ah! Ah! That was pretty good. Travis, why don't you tell her? Yeah, Travis, that would be nice of you. No, it's fine. I don't mind cooking. It's all. It was very good. No, you should tell you. No, seriously, it's fine. I don't care. That's bullshit. You need to tell her, Travis. Okay, okay. You did good, dear. Real good. Well, hell, I liked it. I'm getting another piece. You really should dump this idiot a man and get a real man. A real man like who? You? I'm more man than you can handle, babe. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, remember that time we... I wouldn't want that. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready for bed. So why didn't you? Well, my dad being a grease monkey and everything, he just he never wanted to do anything like this. It didn't involve cars or gambling or alcohol. He just wanted no parts of it. Well, now you can cross this off your bucket list. Yeah. You're right. Jimmy, can you get me some marshmallows? I got it. Can I get a graham cracker? No problem. Chocolate. Some chocolate, too? All yeah. right. Hey, Travis, where's Amanda? She's inside. Yeah, I wonder what you did to her. I didn't do anything to her. I'm sure you did something. She seemed pretty upset. Whatever. She knows her place. You're such a tool, Travis. Well, at least you get to use a long stick once in your life. <laughs> you know what? Some things never change, Travis.
thing. Yeah. Did you hear that? Hear what? That. Did you guys hear that? No. We all just had a craving for ice cream at the same time. Maybe it was the creepy groundskeeper guy. It really better not be. I already threatened to kick his ass. Maybe it was the lady who saw the woods earlier. Yeah, maybe she's coming to kill us and cook our bones, but she figured she would knock first. Why are you always playing, Travis? There's no one on the security monitor. What's that? Maybe that's not such a good idea. That's definitely not a good idea. What the hell? Oh my god, is she alive? Uh, I'm not sure. What the <laughs> fuck? Oh my god, what, what do you think happened to her? It looks like she was stabbed. You guys, her pulse is really weak, and her breathing is faint. Stabbed? Who the fuck stabbed her? Oh my god. I don't fucking know, but you need to call 911 right the fuck now. How? Someone took our phones, remember? I will fucking get them! Delta. I can't find the cell phones. They're not where I left them. Oh, what the hell are we gonna do? I'm really fucking starting to get scared. I can't. I don't know. I don't know. What? It's my backup. My bath phone. Shit, no signal. Oh. Well, let's get her to the van. We need to get her to the hospital. You guys aren't coming? Hell no. Harvard, remember? I can't wait to see how you sell this one to the cops. Oh my god, Travis. Where the fuck did you put that? What are you looking for? The cell phones. I gotta find the cell phones. Babe, you're starting to worry me. Calm down. Stop being so annoying! Sorry, babe. Baby. I'm sorry. Look, I'm just trying to get us out of here. My other phone has signal, so if I could just find us, we can get the hell out of here. Baby, open up. Open the door. Wait. Shit. What? What? What's going on? What? What the fuck? You mean to tell me we're stuck out here? Oh my god. Fuck. Hold on. Oh my god. She's dead. She's dead. Guys, she's dead. Shit. Oh my god. What the fuck are we gonna do now? I don't know, but I really don't think it's a good idea that we're standing out here in the open. Just, just go. Go 
with him. Well, what? It ain't my car. Besides, I just took a nice relaxing pill to help calm my nerves. An old man Walter? Come on. Jimmy should have no trouble kicking his ass. <laughs> Take your UFC MMA ass out there. You know what? Maybe I will. You really are an asshole, Travis. I'll go get him myself. Wait, Matt. I'm gonna go too. Hey, dear. Can you make me a sandwich? Seriously? Make it yourself. Damn, Cat. You've been walking forever. Just keep an eye out, okay? Where in the hell could Jimmy be? I don't know. J Jimmy! Jimmy! <sighs> that little bastard took all our phones but kept his. But why would he why would he just leave his phone here and walk off? That doesn't make any sense. He wouldn't. There's no I wonder signal. if he was able to call for help. There's no signal. Dude, <laughs> what is your problem? My, my. Lovely young lady. What the hell did you do with our friendship bag? Where the hell is Jimmy? Is Randy? Yeah. The average looking guy with dark hair. I ain't seen anybody. Bullshit, old man. Oh, wait, you just a feisty little Look, friend. you motherfucker. You need to tell us what you did with that friend right now. Or I'm going to put my foot up your ass. Oh, you like a rough too, huh? Well, good luck with that. All right, Grant. You better tell us what the hell you did with Jimmy. Look, I ain't seen your friend. I don't know where he is. Maybe he got hit in the head, got all busy, and passed out somewhere. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Well, good luck. It's gonna take this fat ass more than an hour to get up this far. What the hell, Cat? Come on, help me get him inside. And do what with him? We're gonna tie him up and we're gonna beat some answers out of him. Oh my God, are you sure about this? Yeah. What about Jimmy? He's still out there somewhere. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's back at the house right now. I sure hope so. Damn it. Damn it, cat! God help you if you did anything to our friend. This is bullshit. This is like the worst trip ever. You guys sure know how to ruin a trip. Monica, this isn't good. Where could Jimmy be? I don't know. Okay. That guy over there definitely had something to do with it. I just fucking know it. So what are we gonna do with him? I don't know, this wasn't my idea. But by the way Cat looks, it can't be good. <sighs> Shit, I still don't have a signal. I'm gonna go out back to see if I can get some more bars. Oh. Stupid ass phone. Still ain't got no damn signal. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Got one bar. 
Where's Monica? Monica! Monica! Yo, Monica! Monica! They're sending the car out, guys. But get this, it won't be here till the morning. There's only one officer on duty, and he's all tied up. How ironic. I'm not waiting around here until the morning. Yeah, what? Jimmy's still hurt. I'm not leaving him out there. Where's our friend, asshole? And what did you do with our cell phones? Look, pretty boy, I already called you. I don't know where your goddamn friend is. Why? Sir? Oh, just tell us where our friend is, and we'll let you go. <laughs> I'm sick. Playing games. Look, printer. No, shut up. Oh, God. Damn. I will cut you off piece by piece until you tell us where Jimmy is. Look, princess, I told you I don't know where your friend is. I was outside minding my own goddamn business. You knocked me out, dragged me in here, tied me to this fucking shit. You know, I can't wait until the sheriff sees this because I am pressing charges against all y'all. No, no. You press charges on us. Get the hell out of here, you wacko. He does have a point, Travis. Kidnapping, assault in the first degree. We're holding him against his will. What about kidnapping our friend or worse, murder? That's all circumstantial evidence at this point. I say we torch him to death until he tells us where Jimmy is. Why don't you just wait a second, Cat? Come on. Why don't we just talk this out? Wait till the morning, and when the sheriff comes, we can sort everything out. No, no, I'm not leaving Jimmy out there. Oh, I'm with Cal on this one. This prick is the only one who knows where Jimmy is. I'm, I'm not waiting around here another minute longer. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. Where are you gonna go? The van is busted, remember? You're better off just waiting for the sheriff to arrive. No, I'm gonna call a cab or an Uber, or a Lyft or something. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Is everyone okay? What the hell just happened? Oh my God, where did he go? <gasps> I don't know, but I'm gonna go find him and Jimmy. Okay, if you didn't find him the first time, what makes you think you're gonna find him now? Well, I have to drive. Oh, it's gonna leave God. Jimmy out there. Oh, Wait, Kat, I'm gonna go with you. No, just... Don't slow me down, okay? Just, just I'm wait. A, no, just wait here, okay? Oh just in case God. he comes back. Are you what? sure about this? Yeah, keep all their crazy asses out. Oh, you're not gonna go with her? Waste of time. Jimmy's okay. He's probably just passed out somewhere. <sighs> Thank you. And Kat already scared Walter shitless, so I don't think she'll have any trouble. <laughs> Does she not remember that the car doesn't work? I think she's gone, just in panic mode and not thinking clearly. She's starting to lose it.
see Jimmy with her. Lock the door behind me. I'm gonna get you out of here, all right? Stay still. Run. Stay back while I check it out. It's the pizza guy's car. Distract him while you get back to the cabin. No, 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 babe, babe, babe. just, just go back. It's just safer. Just... Take this. Go. Come on, motherfucker.
on the door. Maybe we can make it until the sheriff comes. But who knows how long that's gonna be? We can't stay here, it's not safe. We have to get out of here. He just kept stabbing him and stabbing him and stabbing him and fucking stabbing him like he was a fucking piece of meat. Yeah, but what are we gonna do? We need a car. A car. A car. The, there, the, there was a car down the road. Travis and I saw it, but there was no keys at all. That car could be our only chance out of here. Yeah, but she said there's no keys. The, it's not a problem, remember? My dad used to own a repair shop. <laughs> yeah, but you can't do that. It's too dangerous, cat. Well, this is our only shot out of here. We have to get out of here. We can't stay here. I gotta go. That car could be our only shot out of here. I'm willing to take this chance. Now all we gotta do is wait for Kat to come back, okay? What if she doesn't come back? What if she doesn't even make it to the car? Calm down. No. I'm sure she's gonna be all right. Oh my God. This is Kat we're talking about. The sheriff, where the fuck is Kat? They said she's probably dead, so we're going to die. <laughs> she should have been back by now. Come on, get Oh my god, that must be Kat. Or the sheriff or the killer, but honestly, who the fuck cares anymore? We're all gonna die anyway. I got his keys, so we're gonna make a run for it to the house and lock ourselves in. Then we just gotta wait till the sheriff comes, okay? Why, why, why is this happening to us? I, I don't know. 
Ready?
clear? Hell yeah, I got a plan. Get out and not get eaten. Come on. Uh, I'm so sick of running. Bring it on, bitch! <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is Dr. Richardson. Yes, I am the biology professor, room 138. Yes. Yes. Yes, um, I am very interested, but I'm going to have to call you back. It's lunchtime. Take it in there, and then she would like tell us more stuff about it. Yeah. All right, come on. It's right there. Come on, let's go see. Hey, Mr. Richardson, we got more for you.
One moment, please. One moment. Come in. Hello. Is this your cabin? It is my cabin. It's beautiful. Yes. Me and my friends wanted to know if we could rent it out this weekend. Is it available? It is available. I'll email you the details, Sarah. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week. Why they sipping on your blood?